Hello guys, welcome back. Today we're going to play uh, an interesting game made by Stardock Corporation. It's called The Political Machine. Oh my god, I love Stardock. Everything they make, it's so good. Um, Political Machine is uh, a game about politics, as the name would imply. You can see here we've got Bill Clinton, and we've got Mitt Romney. Oh my god, there's Herman Cain. Let's start a new game and get this going. So, um, in order to make this video... Um, <laughs> I've already got this filled out, Basta, Basta Pain. Um, we're going to make it real short. Um, 21 weeks is the shortest you can make it. Um, starting funds, 100%. Uh, difficulty, I'm going to keep it on simple because, hell, I'm a simple guy. Um, we're going to keep everything normal uh, so everybody kind of understands, you know, what states um, need what kind of stuff. And we're going we're gonna to start this game up. Uh, as you can tell, last time I played as Herman Cain. <laughs> oh my God! Uh, let's let's see who's on here. Uh, you could play as Teddy Roosevelt or Thomas Jefferson or Rick Santorum or uh, Richard Nixon. You could play as Richard Nixon or Newt Gingrich. <laughs> oh my God! Uh, Nancy Pelosi, Michelle Obama. Um, let. I kind of want to play as Herman Cain again. Donald Trump. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> fantastic! Um, you can see uh, everybody kind of has stats, which is kind of funny. Uh, Donald Trump has literally no credibility. Um, Condoleezza Rice, she's she's pretty up there. Bill Clinton, um, pretty low credibility. Uh, Barack Obama, pretty even across the board, but is a little low on the religious side. One thing I've noticed is the women tend to do better. So I think this time, uh, let's see, who can, who can we be? Um, let's, oh my god, let's be Michelle Bachman. Oh, but she, she's got really low everything, doesn't she? Um, oh man, who else is there that's a woman? Sarah Palin. Oh my god, I think Sarah Palin is hilarious. Uh, and we're gonna go up against, um, we're gonna go up against John Kerry, just because I, I think he's kind of funny. Um, yeah. All right. Um, I could do Michelle Obama, but then it'd just be a cat fight. We don't. We don't want that. Um, okay. So the way this the way this game kind of plays out is that you um, you start out in a plane. Here I am in Alaska because I'm because I'm Sarah Goddamn Palin. Oh my God. And uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fly up here to Pennsylvania because I know Pennsylvania. If we look at the uh, number of electoral votes, you can see it's pretty pink. Um, we want it to be uh, we want it to be our state because they they got the electoral votes that we need. So I'm going to build an HQ. We're going to build a campaign headquarters. It's going to cost a little bit of money, and uh, as long as we're here, we can give a speech. And down here, uh, oh boy, who do I need support with? I need support with the Democrats. So um, in order to boost my Democrat alliance, we're going to say that we support reducing unemployment. I favor reducing unemployment. Give speech. Oh, look at all those points. Plus 2%. Uh, so now it's 42 to 45. I'm in the lead. Um, great. Fantastic. Uh, let's uh, let's create an ad as long as we're here. Uh, we'll just make it a newspaper ad. And we'll say that um, I support uh, reducing the unemployment. Just like we made this speech about. Um, it'll be cheap. It'll be effective. And next turn. So the next I'm going to fly to uh, Texas, because that's where, that's where our friend John Kerry just left. And uh, we're going to give a speech down here. Um, and down here, we, we're kind of in the lead, 49 to 40. Um, but we also want to, we also kind of want to boost ourselves across the board. And to do that, we're going to talk about unemployment. So I favor reducing unemployment. Oh my god, look at that, plus 3%. It's, it's a landslide here. Um, I'm going to build an HQ, uh, an outreach center, and what this is going to do is going to help us uh, later on. We're going to be able to get um, some endorsements. So right now we don't have we don't have any endorsement. We have zero clout. We need we need at least like nine, about nine clout. So moving right along, uh, let's let's take a look at our electoral vote map. Uh, Florida, I think, is going to be important. So we'll fly down there and. Um, Next turn, we're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit about social security, or um, supporting Israel. 
So next turn, uh, ooh, so these are TV, uh, <clears throat> TV ads, uh, or TV interviews rather. Um, actually, we can't do supporting as we're going to do social security, favor social security. Um, create an ad, newspaper ad, social security, favorite. Um, we're going to fly to Delaware. Oh boy, Delaware is going to be fantastic. Would you like to appear on 60 Seconds? Oh my god, yes I would. Thank you very much. Oh boy. Tonight our reporters go undercover to investigate the seedy underbelly of office supply retailers. Oh my god. With the national debt so high, do you think the U.S. can continue to afford to spend vast amounts of money on such a large military? Oh boy. We, we need a strong military. We need a strong military to invade Canada, <laughs> of course. Oh my god, Sarah Palin, so insightful. Um, we need a strong military. Uh, I think, I think that's, that's a pretty good one. Um, but I think we also need to reduce military spending. Oh, look at that, I'm in the green. I'm in the green. Uh, Obamacare has been a lightning rod issue this election, only to have tensions further inflamed by the Supreme Court, court upholding the law's constitutionality. What is your stance on health care reform? Oh... I, I'm going to say I'm in favor of Obamacare just because of the uh, the nature of the program that I'm on um, and how early it is in the election. So we'll say that. Oh, that was bad. I shouldn't have said that. Um, Palin worries independence. Oh, God. Damn it. All right. Um, I'm not in the lead in this state. Uh, so let's, uh, let's create a, an ad, uh, a radio ad, and we're going to say that um, I support reducing unemployment. Oh god, yeah. Delaware, not oh man, that's probably a bad uh, use of my money. But yeah, next turn. Let's keep it moving. Did I click it? Yeah, here we go. Um fly back up to Pennsylvania and um oh, we can build special interest. Let's uh hire an operative. Um I'm going to spin doctor. Um C ratings boost of 15%. Higher operative. Perfect. And we're going to give a speech. We're going to say that uh, we want to reduce unemployment. Uh, yeah. Look at that. Red state right there. Um, and I think next, let's, let's take a look at the electoral votes again. Uh, we're going to head down to... Uh, uh, Let's head it over to uh, Illinois. Let's see how's it going over here. Forty-eight to forty. I think we can we can pull this back. We can. Um, let's uh, let's give a speech and say that. Um, hmm. Let's say that we're, we're more reducing unemployment. Let's let's do that. Oh, see, look at that. It's uh, we're evening it out, forty-five to forty-three. That's that's getting better. Uh, next turn, oh, oh, I'm I'm actually almost in the lead, forty-five to forty-four. So that's that's not bad. Let's uh, create an ad here. We'll make a uh, a radio ad, um, favor reducing unemployment. Create an ad. And then, um, oh, there's a little question mark here. We'll fly up there and we'll get it. A movie director has been oh, cutting advertisement costs in half wherever you station. Oh, my God, a movie director. Perfect. What's this? Hollywood friend for, uh, for John Kerry. Um, we also have a, an opportunity in uh, New Jersey. Let's, let's fly it. Fly to New Jersey. There we go. And we'll we'll zoom in here. We'll take a little quick peek. Would you like to appear on Cold Cutter Repertoire? <laughs> I can't help but notice that everyone seems to be calling for more jobs yet losing interns every time I ask to clean my dressing room. Is there really a job crisis in America where people are just too lazy to do the dirty jobs that need doing? Um. Well, having seen your dressing room. Uh, we need to stop outsourcing jobs if American workers weren't so greedy. Let on uh, uh, 
I, I think we should go with the funny response on this one. Um, because this is this is the cold cut repertoire. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, I am all for tax cuts as long as they're for the wealthy. If you become president, how much money will you save me? Um. I th we should get rid of taxes, rid of income taxes altogether. We should stop big government spending. America needs to be wiser with its tax money. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, how about that one? How about that? Oh, look at that. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. We came out in the green. Came out in the green on that. Everybody's happy. Wagging their heads back and forth. Oh, boy. Um, we're here in in New Jersey. Let's, uh, how many votes is New Jersey worth? Quite a few. So let's give a speech. Um, deficit reduction. My favorite. Favorite deficit reduction. And we're gonna create an ad here, radio ad. Um, we're gonna say that we, uh, we favor deficit reduction, because that's, that's a big thing. Oh, boy. Let's take a look at Pennsylvania again. I'm still in the lead. I'm well in the lead. That's fine. That's perfect. That's what we want to do. Okay, next turn. Oh, boy. Let's take a look at uh, Missouri. Let's fly to Missouri, because Missouri, I think... Missouri's got a few. It's... it's uh, We're in the lead in Illinois, so we want to kind of branch out and have surrounding areas. So let's... um. Let's give a speech down here. Say, uh, hmm, deficit reduction again, <laughs> of course. Crit an ad, newspaper ad. Talk more about deficit reduction, I guess. That's that's fine. Um, and uh, oh boy, we're still behind in the polls. Let's see uh, where we need to focus. Um, How's how's Florida? Oh, we're so well in the lead in Florida. Um, Texas, we got Texas. Uh, California, can we pull? Well, we can't pull it ahead in, in California. Um, how about like Oregon? Let's go to Oregon. We can um, we could probably get Oregon. Create an ad. Uh, radio. Radio ad, newspaper ad. Let's let's get a radio ad, and we're going to talk about reducing unemployment. There we go. And next turn. Oh boy. So um, this is this is basically uh how this game rolls. I'm gonna. Oh boy, look at that. In the red. John Kerry National Association. God damn it, John Kerry. Special interest? Do I get a special interest? Do I get an endorsement? I get no endorsements. Oh no. Uh, political operative. Um, let's get a uh, a fashion consultant. Ads become more effective. Perfect. It's exactly what we need. Uh, let's see. Uh, electoral votes. Um, how behind are we in? Oh, we're really behind in New York. No chance for that. Uh, really behind in Massachusetts. Uh, we could probably pull it ahead in North Carolina. Um, and Georgia. Oh boy, look at that. We could pull it ahead in Georgia. Let's fly to Georgia. And in Georgia, we're going to uh, we're going to give a speech on <laughs> reducing unemployment. Oh boy. But anyway, um, <laughs> what I was about to say is that uh, I'll uh, I'll go ahead with um, playing this for a little bit, and right around the end of the game, uh, when, I, when it's time to pick vice presidents, we'll pick it back up. How about that? Okay, uh, well, I'll see you guys in a few. Um, yeah, see you soon. Okay, guys, it's time to pick a running mate. Oh my god, it's Abraham Lincoln. Um, do I want Abraham Lincoln as my running mate? Uh, yeah, he's, 
<laughs> George Washington. Let's get George Washington. Oh my god, he's... He, appearance, it's pretty low. It's probably because he's dead. <laughs> um, is this running mate Thomas Jefferson? So we got... Oh god, we've got Thomas Jefferson and George Washington. We're going to put George Washington... Um, let's say up in... Uh, Maybe we can turn one of these states around up here in the north, northeast. Uh, maybe Ohio? I, th I think we could turn it around in Ohio. Let's put George. That's perfect. Um, let's see, uh, where can I improve? Um, I'm also, oh, I do have a lot of money, though. Wow. Um, don't know where that all came from. Anyway, uh, I'm going to keep going, and I'll pick, pick up with you guys in a, a bunch of turns. All right, see you soon. Okay, guys. Wow, it's really coming down to the wire. Uh, 47 to 46 percent. Oh boy, this is this is insane. Um, so uh, I don't know if that's counting these um, these battleground states. Uh, John Kerry having a tough time in California. Oh boy, all 55 electoral votes going to me. Oh yeah. Um, only one week left on the uh, the campaign trail. We're going to go up to uh, our home state of Alaska, and we're going to appear on the Cold Cut Repertoire. Again. Oh my god, this is so good. Uh, between the mortgage crisis and the recession, many Americans are worried about losing their homes. I already have too many people trying to wash your windshield of my limo. What, as president, do you think you could do to solve this problem? Oh boy. Um... The market will adjust. I never stop at any intersections. <laughs> oh my god. We need to tighten regulations. Um, uh, let's, let's go with that. Oh god, that's bad. <laughs> we all know the Bible and the Constitution are pretty much the same thing. As president, what will you do to ensure that godless heathens don't plunge their fist into the chest of America and rip out its Christian heart? Oh crap, I just pushed, I just double clicked on accident. Oh my god. Oh boy. Punnett's one of the uh, sanity of Palin. Oh good, fantastic. How much did that hurt me? Uh, actually not a whole lot, as it seems. Um, I'm still in the lead in most of the battleground states. Uh, New Jersey could certainly use a, a good kick in the pants. What the hell is up with New Jersey? What the hell is up with my frame rate, too? Oh, boy. I'm just gonna... Give me one second. Okay, that's that's better. A little, little bit higher frame rate. Nice and, nice and smooth now. Let's also fly to Alabama. See if... Are they worth anything? Eh, maybe a little bit. Alabama might be worth a little bit. Pennsylvania... Hmm... We can actually try a little, just a little bit harder in Pennsylvania. We'll give a speech on uh, reducing unemployment. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? Uh, that's about it. Okay. Last week. Last minute votes. Pushing for last minute votes. John Kerry, you're not doing nothing. You're not doing anything. Uh, who can I afford? A political operative? Um... An intimidator? <laughs> sure, why not? Why not? Oh boy. Um, where can I do the most good? Uh, down here, we're good, we're good. Let's see if I can get some support in Alabama. Let's give a, give a good speech about reducing unemployment. Plus 3%? Ah, oh, put me in the lead! 
What do, what do you know? What do you know? Um, I'm still, oh god, I'm really behind in the polls, I think. Look at, look at those polls, 7% 7, 7 undecided. Oh god. That, that could be a, a pretty critical 7%. Um, let's go up to, uh, Washington, last minute. Don't have much money. We're gonna give a speech. Uh, only three hundred thirty-nine thousand dollars left, and we're gonna talk about deficit reduction because it's the only thing that's gonna give us the points we need. Oh, we made it a red state. Oh, perfect. That's that's what we need in this election. All right, selection night. Let's see what we got. We know this whole this whole corner is all it's all John Kerry. He's he's got New York. Oh God. Um, Delaware, Maryland. Virginia, all those North Carolina, South Carolina, New Jersey, but we got Pennsylvania, god damn it. We got Pennsylvania, we got Ohio. Oh boy, look at this. We've got Alabama and Florida and Georgia and oh, not Michigan. We got Illinois or uh, Indiana rather. We we didn't get Wisconsin, we didn't get Illinois. Um didn't get Mississippi or Louisiana. We we didn't get Arkansas. But we got Missouri. Uh, St. Louis, we got St. Louis there. Um, oh, we we got Texas, we got Oklahoma, we got all these good Bible Belt states, um, except except for South Dakota. No, whatever, whatever's going on with South Dakota. Um, oh, uh, Utah, we got Utah. Um, I got 200 electoral. Oh, we got Washington, 222 to 247. I'm losing. Oh. Oh, but I got California, and that put me ahead. Um, oh, and Alaska. Oh, my God, we came out on top. Who would have thought it'd be possible? 287 to 240-something. Sarah Palin. Oh, my God, Sarah Palin. Um, anyway, uh, we'll go back to the main menu. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, thanks, thanks for uh, tuning in. Um, to see the only election Sarah Palin will ever win in her entire lifetime. Besides, besides governor, of course. Presidential election, I mean. Um, <laughs> anyway, this is a fantastic game. Uh, if you liked it, go check out uh, the rest of what Stardock has. Um, you, can, you can look on Steam, or you can uh, check out their website at stardock.com. Uh, thanks, <laughs> thanks for watching. Oh, my God. What a, what a fantastic game. Uh, leave a like if you liked. Uh, and, and you can also comment and tell me, uh, tell me how poorly I did this time, even though I won. Oh my God, what a, what a nightmare! Okay, thanks, guys, uh, and have have a good night.